Hi, my name is Greg from TP Photography and today I'm going to talk to you about memory cards for video. Now for video, a lot of people think you need super fast, all singing, all dancing, million megabytes a second cards. Now that's not true. What you need is a card that can write uh, probably 20 megabytes a second is, is plenty for most videos. Now, I always see people saying, oh, I need the fastest SanDisk card or, you know, other brands are available. And you don't, uh, you just need a card. Typically now they've tried to make it easier. It says U3 or V30, and that will tell you that it's fast enough uh, for video. Basically with stills, it's firing bursts of photos. With video, it's uh, obviously writing continuously to the card. So the sustained burst rate is more important uh, than the, like, occasional burst rate. So that's why you get a V30 uh, instead of, you know, a, a maximum burst speed. Obviously on cards, it always says the maximum read speed. So it might be 95 megabytes a second, 90 megabytes a second, or 300 megabytes a second, depending on what sort of card it is. Uh, now I've got quite a few different cameras that I use for video, uh, Panasonic's, uh, Sony's, uh, even a Canon. Uh, and I've used a whole variety of cards in there, so I know what will work and what won't work. Uh, basically, most cards these days will work for video, especially if you're only doing 1080p, because uh, the, typically the, the bit rates are a little bit lower. Uh, so, you know, you can get a Sandisk Extreme Pro card if you want, uh, and yes, that will be a little bit faster uh, in terms of write speed. Read speed, you know, a lot of cards are a similar read speed to that. Uh, but for video, you simply don't need anything more. So you're basically paying for that extra speed that you don't need when it comes to writing. Uh, so a more cost effective card is one that I bought more recently. And this is a, a Transcend uh, V30 card. I think it's uh, called a 300S and it's around about 16, 17 pounds on Amazon for 128 gigabytes, which is pretty much perfect for video. Uh, I've got a few others here in my uh, Peli case. And, you know, I've got some Extreme Pro, I've got a, even like one of the ultra cards, uh, which actually is fine a lot of the time for video. Uh, I've never had a problem with, with that. Uh, for stills, you can notice a little bit of a difference when it's buffering, uh, but for video, you know, you, there's no point paying more for a, a fast card if you're gonna use it for video. Uh, Toshiba one, I've also got uh, a Samsung one. Uh, the React ones are pretty good, they're pretty fast. Uh, pretty close to the Extreme Pros for writing as well, but a fraction of the cost. Uh, and then, like I say, you've got the Transcend ones, you've got the normal Extremes. Uh, I've got some Transcend Golds here. I've got some Lexar ones. Uh, Kingston, they're pretty good as well. Uh, but for video, I just wanted to say, you know, you don't need the fastest cards. You just need cards with a sustained uh, burst speed, really. You know, a sustained throughput for the, for the writing of the video stream. Other than that, you know, you can get fast cards if you want, if you're going to be shooting a lot uh, of stills at the same time, uh, then obviously, you know, you need that buffer to write before you can start the video. But if you're just using it for video, uh, I'd recommend these Transcend. I've, I've used them a few times now. Perfect. And, and actually, they're not that much slower than the Extreme Pros. Yes, they are slower. Uh, read speed's about the same of 95 megabytes a second. Uh, write speed, you're getting between 45 and 50 versus, uh, you know, you can get between 80, 85, 90 maybe on the Extreme Pros. Uh, so for video, it makes no difference. For stills, a little bit of a difference, but only if you're shooting lots of bursts a lot and you need to clear the buffer as soon as possible. Uh, I find with the a7 III cameras like that, you can get 17 seconds with pretty much any card shooting at six frames a second, so you don't need more than that. Uh, but going back to the point of this video, for video, don't don't waste your money on the more expensive cards, guys. Just get the something like the, the Transcend or, or the Ultras or whatever's on sale, really. Uh, all the cards are pretty decent these days. Uh, I've been using Transcend for years, for example. Uh, I know many people who have, you know, so, don't be afraid to try out different cards. You don't need the fastest ones for video. And hopefully that saved you some money. Uh, I'll put some links down below if you want to uh, support uh, these choices. And thanks for watching and bye-bye.